What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on All right, ninjas, we back to work. Y'all know what it is. All right, get ready. Uh, so we're back on the prowl with the Game Brigade, right? And uh, guess who's back on the scene? So you got all of this Alyssa McConte stuff going on. And we have one fugitive in hiding, right? We have one fugitive in hiding who's reared his ugly little head. That's right. God damn. The nigga Chris Kendrick is back. And this time, it wasn't enough for him to try to get Cabrutus knocked off. Despite the fact that he failed, by the way. But he want to get JT knocked off too. Smash JT. Oh, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. So here we have my first, you know, time seeing this was from Grums yesterday. Gamer, Gamergate 2 is starting all over again. Grums, I mean, respectfully, I don't know where you've been, but Gamergate 2 has been in full swing since, what, what February? I, I don't know. What are you talking about? We've been covering this every day. What? I'm talking about all over again. And Sweet Baby Inc. started it again. Chris Kendrick, who famously went after Cabrutus to cancel him for Sweet Baby uh, Detected, is now calling Smash JT's former employer in an attempt to get him fired. Same bad, bad actor, same cancel pick, same tired tactics, lies, smears, and intimidation. You have no power here, Chris. Nobody is afraid anymore. Mm. Mm, say it again. Say it again. Y'all better learn how to squabble out here now. Teach your man how to squabble. Get that trigger next time, nigga. Okay. So here it is. Chris Kendrick just called my job. <laughs> the, uh, this is the same guy as you can see going back in time. The Steam Curator Harassment Group Sweet Baby Inc. Detected is led by this person. Here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Even with the discriminatory language uh, filed off the group, itself still fails the code of conduct anyway report the fuck out of this group and report the creator uh since he loves his account so much so not only was they trying to get uh uh, uh not only was chris kendrick trying to get uh the 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 actual curator group itself knocked off but he was trying to get cabrutus knocked off of steam <laughs> you failed nigga you failed you failed, and now here you are, trying to uh, to get my get my boy knocked off. So it wouldn't be right if we didn't go this and is check a out segment of if we didn't go and check out. You know some of what uh uh, uh JT had to say. You know I got to put it on one point five because y'all niggas be talking extra slow. I can't. <laughs> y'all niggas be talking extra slow. I be talking extra slow. When I when I play my videos back, I put it on one point seven five. I can't. I can't. I can't do this slow talking nonsense. Let's get it. ...of the gaming community that has gone unchecked for so long that they feel like they have free reign to do whatever the hell they want to without any repercussions. I learned this when I started talking about Kotaku in my end Kotaku petition and why I feel like Kotaku wasn't the greatest thing for the video game industry. I got to that point after I saw Alyssa Mercante covering the Sweet Baby Inc. situation, leaving out how Chris Kindred, one of the employees at Sweet Baby Inc., was literally the... Okay, so is, is this boy is this boy a... Franny Demon. ...or not? What is he? Okay, do he want to be a man? Do he want to be a girl? Do he want to be a boy? Do he want to be Michael Jackson? What's going on here? Okay, you look at <laughs> you look at his 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 uh his Twitter uh handle. You look like you want to be a little girl. But you go back and you look at this picture right here. Shit, I can't even find it tried to have games taken away and have his Steam account completely removed because he was offended that someone dared create a curation group of you, games that Sweet Baby Inc. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say, nigga. God, hey. You saw that picture. I can't find it. Worked on the company that Chris Kindred works at. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smitty Phone uh, Call and try to say not just abhorrent things about me, but straight up lies, which are provably false very easily. He made up lies. He spewed a whole lot of vitriol against me, said the worst things possible he could in an attempt to get me fired from my job. Tell me again how they, what was it, Nick Calandra, who said go after their funding source because that's where you get them to stop. That's how you silence them. Tell me again. Nick Calandra ain't going to come out here and challenge nobody to no fight because I'll pull up to your ass. <laughs> I will show no pull up on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass just like this. You stupid. Fight back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. <laughs> Better learn how to squabble, nigga. Teach your man how to squabble. 
but he he ain't that stupid. Get that only only a woman could do what Alyssa Mercante did because Alyssa Mercante knows it's a win-win situation for her. Matter of fact, nigga, how? I just want to take the time to appreciate the fact that Alyssa Mercante took a win-win situation and still lost. How the hell you do that? <laughs> the, the entire point of what she did was she challenged everybody to a fight because she knew that she was beefing with niggas. And anybody who accepted the fight was going to look real lame. But if you don't accept the fight, then you look like a pussy. She didn't think that a female was going to ex uh, accept the fight. And then fucked around and went protected. <laughs> and how this is effective when I do the exact opposite. I bring it to the forefront. I shine a light on it and I'm not afraid of you. You're not going to get me to stop talking. And that's another thing. We're not going to start roasting you niggas, bro. That subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full. You don't think that I'm in contact with people at this company? You don't think I hear about what's going on? You're not going to get anything by me. Stop trying. Chris Kindred felt empowered and enabled because he's lived so long without anyone trying to tell him otherwise that what he's doing might not be the best idea. And in this case, it may have just been the dumbest thing he could possibly have done. This is the same dude that kicked off Gamergate 2 when he tried to get Crew Brutus canceled for simply creating a curation group about Sweet Baby Inc. and the games that they worked on. And I get it. From his perspective, he probably took personal offense because that's the company he works at. He probably has a lot of pride in the games he's working on but it doesn't mean that someone else isn't allowed to make a curation group to let other so <clears throat> there there was one tweet that i actually don't agree with uh when it comes to smash jt uh let me see where did it go where did it go where did it go okay so he said i've sent the following message to sweet baby inc via contact from from form on their website hello one of your employees, Chris Kendrick, has recently reached out to my place of employment of mine, asking about my job status and stating false things about me and my work. I would like to know how you plan on handling this situation and what your stance is on such uh, actions. This is incredibly out of bounds and bordering on legal action uh, as I take this matter extremely seriously. Okay. What the fuck? JT, what you think they're going to say? You think they what? What? <laughs> you you think they're gonna respond to that? What you think they're gonna say? They're gonna come out and be like, "Oh, we apologize. Yeah, we gonna go on and fire him." No, absolutely not. They're not gonna fire this man. They're gonna ignore you. They're gonna double down. They probably sanctioned the shit. They probably over there having a good old laugh about it before he did it. I don't understand what the fuck the point of this was. If you was going to, me personally, this is how I feel. If we going to do something about it, then let's just do something about it, right? If your stance here is, well, are you guys going to handle this? Because not, I'm going to, I'm going to take legal action. Then just take the legal action. But if you're not going to take no legal action, this kind of look goofy in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Somebody in the comments tell me I'm wrong. In my opinion, if you're not going to take no legal action after this, this looks a little bit goofy to me. And it looks, it, 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 I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. It look, it looks a little bit clout chasey to me, because one, I'm gonna send me personally, I'm gonna send that message, and I'm not gonna post it on social media. And then when you don't respond, and I decide I'm gonna take it to legal action, then that's when I'm gonna come out and tell everybody, hey, listen, we taking them to court for defamation. Uh, they tried to slander my name. They they harassed me. They tried to get me fired from my job. I reached out to them to see if this this character was gonna face any consequences. They never got back to me. So I've taken this to the point where I'm, I'm I just gotta file legal action. And again, I want to reiterate: if he's filing legal action, fine. But I thought there was plenty of opportunities for him and people like Grums to file legal action the last few months, and ain't nobody did shit. Ain't nobody out here squabbling. I want to see squabbles. I want to see people actually do something. That's why I like, that's why I feel like a lot of these niggas on the other side avoided me because they can look at me and tell I'm all about the squabbles. I'm coming. I'm squabbling, bro. <laughs> I want to squabble. We can verbally squabble. We can physically squabble. We can squabble in the courtroom. Wherever you want to squabble, Atreus is coming to squabble. You know what I'm saying? That's why when when that whole situation with uh um fighting cowboy came up, I told fighting cowboy, I said, "Hey, we ain't got to do this on camera. We ain't got to do this on, on my platform, your platform, none of that. I don't care about the clout. I just want to have a conversation." And we had a conversation like men in the DMs, and it all was cool. That's squabbling. That's how you squabble. Anyway, 
Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Um, <laughs> as for uh, uh, what's this boy named Chris Kendrick? Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. 